So you're still making $50,000 as a developer and you want to get to that six figure software development salary, you reach the right place. Let me explain. This video was brought to you by Digital Academy, your number one source to learn how to make money programming and get that six figure salary you desire. Our academy have a wide range of courses, including 3K in 30 days, our mentorship membership program, and much, much more. When you sign up for our free community, you get access to our membership community with like-minded professional who's going to help take your career to the next level. So let's take the first step to get started and really take your career to the next level with our seven step money guide today. So let's go ahead and click the link below to sign up for our free seven step guide to help you get your career started today. So guys, let's, let's talk about programming jobs and how you can really get to that six figure salary you desire. I got a list of 10 here I'm going to go into details about and I want to cover each of them and the different unique perspectives of each and the advantages. Everything on this list you can make at least eighty dollars to $150,000 on average. You can probably make more but I'm just talking for general cities, um, the small, medium, large cities you can still make within this range pretty easily. You just got to really focus in on being the best developer you can be and really putting yourself in a position to win guys so i have a list of 10 right here in front of me so let's get started the good old database developer guys this is one that's always in demand always companies having to manage and store their data they need somebody who can do this you can be that person who do this for companies guys it's so important that you know how to manage databases um, create store procedures functions be able to pass data uh, to the front end and the back end of the application guys this developer is needed yes you can make that six-figure salary 120 130 150 as a lead uh, SQL developer even more guys so it all depends on what type of value bring to the company and what type of budget they have for their developers so uh, database developers are critical number two CRM and ERP developers these are the ones if you work for a software company they're gonna pay you top dollar guys you can easily make over 150 most of the time um, you're gonna work for a software company you probably make even more up into the um, two to three hundred four hundred thousand dollar range I heard some people at Facebook make over four hundred thousand dollars integrating into their software but on average let's look between 80 and 150 um, as far as just a good expectation for any size city for a regular size company these developers are needed guys every company have systems and processes and and uh, resources they need to manage they use the CRM and ERP systems to do that they need custom development just because you use a canned software don't mean you don't need to customize it to your specific needs just like anything else guys the 80 20 rule 80% of that canned software works pretty good the other 20 you're gonna have to code you're gonna need a developer to do that for you that's a slot for you guys you can make really good money pretty fast Salesforce um, um, they got a ton of them out there guys Microsoft Dynamics um, what else SAP just a ton of them out there guys just find a niche find an industry this is a quick way to get started as a developer BI developers guys if I had to pick one of the easiest ones to get into the less intimidating developers is gonna be BI guys reporting analytics integrating into all multiple systems from a reporting alerting standpoint these are really good developers it's gonna be on the low end at the beginning you are probably gonna be around that 70 80 at the beginning but you can quickly get over that six-figure salary pretty easily with this guys you just have to position yourself those big impact projects don't come across as a analyst guys this is what these guys do wrong you just put yourself in a position as a report writer which a lot of that you're gonna be doing at the beginning nothing wrong with that but you want to quickly put yourself in a position to start solving problems and being able to provide information in the right spot that's going to help the company save money and get that ROI quickly guys you notice I'm always saying ROI 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 return on investment the bigger the return the more you can charge the customer and the client the more money you're gonna make so let's make sure 
we put you in a position, even as a BI developer, to really make the max amount of money, that six-figure salary, you can get up pretty quickly. And most companies need a BI developer. Maybe you're not exclusively a BI developer in the smaller companies, but at least at the very minimum, if you do any kind of reporting, a lot of the SQL uh, database developers, they kind of get into this world. This is how I started, um, specifically with SSRS on the Microsoft side. This is some really good money, guys. Um, front end and UI developers. Another one that's gonna start off a little bit on the lower side of the spectrum, guys. You can start off 80, 90, $100,000, depending on what frameworks you use, React, all the other stuff, Django, all that stuff, guys, is very important with the front end developers, UI developers. This is very important. Your problem is you get caught up in the design. Designers typically want to come in as front end developers, undercut you guys because you just specifically using design as your main selling point, which in the client's mind, design means that's something that they can do if they really wanted to. So you got to convince them why you, they don't have to do it in house. That's why I always tell you guys, developer, 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 you need to be providing solutions, even as a front end developer how are you going to get that roi that time you know a lot of the screen a lot of information on the screen can be optimized to make people more productive if you can quantify this and you can have a proof of concept the money's in the bank for you guys i talk about this in my seven step guide below guys how to make money the software development stack or software development guide go ahead and pick that up and then we kind of get into the different ways to find clients and be able to pitch them even as a front end developer how to do this number five guys mobile developers this is kind of going more into the uh, cell phone tablets or uh, smartphones and tablets as far as just the native apps the web apps regardless of what type of app need to be uh, optimized for mobile use using a lot of the portability the functionality across multiple devices guys these are the types that are always the sexy things to do guys everybody want to be a mobile developer because everybody uses the smartphone they use apps the apple app store google play everybody have a smartphone in front of them these are more the um the sexy application guys so um a little bit harder to get into um, at the beginning but once you get in once you get that niche you are to the races um you can easily make over a hundred thousand dollars with this guys you just need to niche down i see that's the problem with most mobile developers they don't niche down to a specific industry they keep it general like apple or google which is okay um don't get into the gaming side too much um stick with the business side um initially and then you can kind of work your way into other niches you prefer after um, we'll talk about game developers later on in, in the video but uh, number six back-end developers guys this the back-end developers this is what you see a lot of people talking about on YouTube PHP Python C sharp Java um, well not yeah, Java um, C C plus plus Ruby all of this is back-end development guys this is the stuff you don't see the front end the database and the back end is the stuff to move in the data the processing of the data and all the information between the front end the database and the back end this is probably the biggest niche I out of all of them guys because you can go a lot of different ways you can do um, from AI machine learning it's the possibility are endless here as far as just the amount of jobs this is gonna be the biggest pool of the jobs guys this is probably gonna be one of the top ends as far as just salary too. software development companies Facebook Silicon Valley they are looking for these type of developers they're cutting edge they got a ton of data they got a ton of processes they need to automate these you can make up to five hundred thousand thousand dollars a year depending on how you position yourself which market silicon valley facebook i know some of their high-end developers make at least four hundred five hundred thousand dollars a year for an average company you're gonna you're looking at maybe 150 or so 160 uh depending on the size you can definitely get over six figures if you're not making six figures as a back-end developer you are getting ripped off so <laughs> you definitely need to be in that position to make money as a back-end developer of uh, algorithm developer guys this is one that if, if you're looking at the volume of jobs is not out there as an exclusive as your title but you're going to be doing a lot of this in other areas of development but 
a lot of these going to be data science companies, consulting firms, working with bigger comp bigger organizations with a ton of data. They're trying to get uh, monetize that data some kind of way. This is where you're going to come in, guys. Algorithms, um, AI, machine learning, all that stuff coming to play when it comes to creating algorithms. Every one of these developers, every one of these developers create algorithms at scale at some point it just is not advanced enough to really like the youtube algorithm or or the google search algorithm like these big well-known algorithms you don't you're not working with that massive scale of data that many people using your algorithm but you can do something on the smaller scales just say for a transportation company to be able to provide which driver is the best option for a particular load yeah yeah that's a huge um um, that's a huge problem for a, dri a co driving company. If you can provide that, that's money in the bank. But again, it's not going to be a lot of jobs out there that has the title of algorithm developer, but they're out there, they're in demand. As AI increase, you're going to see a lot of those guys. Uh, game developer. This is a lot. This is I put this towards the end because a lot of you guys want to be game developers. This is probably out of all of them the hardest one to get into because everybody tries to be a game developer because they figure I play video games I might as well as a developer this is one that's probably going to be the hardest at, to do because at the end of the day guys a lot of competition a lot of companies they're gonna short pay you because they know a ton of people is going to be a game developer just like any other developers guys the top 20% is gonna make bank they're gonna do good six figures easy they go you know mid, mid uh, four three four hundred thousand dollars no problem whatsoever but this one they're gonna try to low value you especially as a beginner that's why I tell you guys you probably want to do this as a beginner unless you just really good at it um, I would start with one other and then work my way into this with I would come in with experience if you want to be a game developer because they're gonna try to lowball you and if you don't have any experience they're gonna lowball you I'm talking about bad lowball like thirty forty thousand dollars lowball because they know people want to be around video games and they'll try to lowball you as much as possible. So be aware of that. Uh, RPA, uh, robotic automation, uh, robotic process automation, guys. RPA, huge niche, huge, huge, huge. Need to jump on that, guys. A lot of business processes need to be automated. This is the way to go. And number 10, full stack developer, guys. This is another big one. Um, you're gonna be working, especially with mid-sized, small companies, full stack developer is the way to go. Guys, these are all the uh, developments, uh, options you have. We talk about more in our seven step guide. Links are in the description box. Like.